Hello, this is OG Investigator conducting my first ever comprehensive review of a very specific fighter plane, the XP-50. Now, the XP-50 is listed as an interceptor, but um, I've played War Thunder for a very long time. I've played it for several years, and um, I remember every time I play this game, even today, a bunch of people label the XP-50 as a cheat. As um, if you play it, you are somehow not that good of a player. So here's the question I am proposing for this. Is the XP-50 a cheat to use? Well, that's what we're going to find out today. But um, I can tell you right now, my initial impression is this since um, I have just bought this plane and I have only played a few missions with it um, the climb rate is absolutely broken and that's what makes the XP-50 so good at its tier now um, here's a tip when you're flying the XP-50 the engines overheat if you use them at 100% or 100% throttle the entire time and it will damage your engines so, if you look at my throttle, what I'll do to avoid this is I will lower it to about 98-99% throttle. And that will make all the difference with the XP-50. It avoids all the... Um, it will, it'll still cause your engine heat to go in the yellow, but it won't cause it to go in the red. And you don't lose hardly any speed, any noticeable speed. Anyway, the XP-50 was a land-based fighter developed by the United States Army Air Corps at the time. And it's an interceptor aircraft, so its main goal is intercepting bombers. But um, In War Thunder, it's actually very fast and it has a very, very good uh, lift ratio. So it's basically, um, you could, when you are on the runway, you could immediately go to max throttle, and your nose, if you pull up, the nose will go up, and your plane will want to take off, like, almost immediately. Um, I have noticed, though, that when it comes to turning, the XP-50 is not the best turner for its tier, but it's actually pretty good for what its speed gives you, for what its, um its role as an interceptor gives you. So you can't outturn most fighters, but you can still outturn some like the Focke Wolf 190. Um, zeros are absolutely out of the question. When it comes to dogfighting, this plane is far more a boom and zoom fighter than a dogfighter. And um, the armament is, I would say, Good for its tier, but lackluster in most cases, in that there is not enough 20 millimeter. So, you get two 20 millimeters, two 50 cals. And for the 50 cals, you get 1,000 rounds. But for the 20 millimeter, you only get 120 rounds. Well, unless your aim is absolutely spectacular, you probably will get only two kills with the 120 millimeters average player may get two kills. I'm going to see if I can target this whirlwind here as he's picking on this B-17. The one refreshing thing is that um, you can actually outclimb and outperform the J-2M in, in a lot of cases. Because I cannot... I remember when I was playing this game... Oh, this guy's going to turn into me. Let me see if I can take him down. There we go. So, you can actually, um, in most in most planes in this game, the J2M will outclimb you, but the XP-50 is the one plane at this tier that absolutely puts the J2M in its place. Oh, this whirlwind looks like he's about to pounce on this B-17. Oh, I see flashes. He's shooting the stealth ammo. 
I might not make it in time. As you can see, my uh, engine heat has gone into the yellow. But it has not gone... Oh, the B-17's dead. It has not gone into the red, which it probably would have at this case, or at this time. Okay, I'm already on the other side of the map, and he's going to dive down to the airfield if I pursue him, so I'm just going to let him go. That's a bad, bad gamble. Um, you can't, I would say, take a lot of hits in the XP-50, because um, it is a very light and um, lightly armored aircraft, and uh, the one redeeming thing is you can lose an engine and still easily make it back to the runway having lost your engine. So the redundancy is good, but the rest of the plane, uh, paper mache when it comes to taking hits. Checking this Thunderbolt here. I would say one good thing about the XP-50 is if you have any 20 millimeters left, every Thunderbolt is almost instantly prey for you. You can outrun and outturn them. And um, the punishment the Thunderbolt can can take from the 50 cals is impressive, but the 20 millimeters will absolutely rip it to shreds. Here we go. All right, that's him. Assuming the fire brings him down, I think I got him. Oh my goodness. This is what happens when you get caught not paying attention. You get caught slipping. Alright, I am now out of 20 millimeters. Okay, this guy is giving me a run for my money. Okay. Now it's a fight. I like this. It would be boring if it wasn't a challenge. Okay, I did get the Thunderbolt. I'm still getting some hits on him. As you can see, 250 cals is actually not that good when it comes to uh, effective armament. So once your 20 millimeters are out, uh, I'm out of I'm out of 50 cals now. Well, that was fun. I must now run to the runway. I think I'm going to head to the northern one. If he decides to turn around and go after me, that one's closer. Which he did, of course. Okay, now I have to run. Maximum engine throttle. Um, when it comes to running, I would say the one thing that is not so good about the XP-50 is at low altitude. Its performance it does completely drop off a bit. Okay, this guy is going to get me. And if you find yourself in contact with anything like a P-51 at low altitude, you are at a complete disadvantage. This guy's probably going to get me if I can keep him moving. Okay. Now you can keep jinking it a lot, but yeah, he got me. You know, um, like I said, the plane when it is not so good at taking punishment. So I would advise against that. Having said that, my ultimate view on the XP-50 is this. If you focus on climbing and using it as a boom and zoom fighter, it is probably the one of, if not the best, uh, planes at its tier. I would not say it's quite cheating, but it's got clear advantages and disadvantages. And if you stick to the advantages, you can do incredibly well in this plane. So if you are looking to buy a premium fighter, I highly would recommend the XP-70, or XP-50, I mean. And if you look at the rewards you get uh, for terms of Lions and uh, RP, it's actually very high. Especially if um, I'm, you have a premium account right now, but I only have it for one more day and one hour left. So, um, Yes, this is probably the best plane in the game for grinding silver lions. 
Anyway, that is my uh, comprehensive review of the XP50. And it is a plane I would highly recommend you purchase, especially if you need Silver Lions. This is Old Games Investigator, signing off. I wish you all the best. Farewell and following seas.